The FISD staff page is going to be changing on February 1st of this year. It's now going to look like what you can currently see by clicking on the Frisco ISD network portal. When you first click on this, it's going to ask you to log in. And you will just use your standard ADS login that you use for the majority of your programs. When you first open it up, it's going to ask you if you would like to download the Stoneware web app. And it's going to ask you this every time until you download it or unless you say don't show again. If you want to go ahead and download it, you click on the blue link. It's going to take you out to their website. And for your school computer, you're going to want to download the Windows 7 and 8 version. If you're at home on a Mac, you've got your Apple, your Android, or you can even do a Chrome browser. I'm not going to download it now, but um, you just follow the steps. I'm just going to say OK. When you first come in, you're going to come into this home page. Now I've played with mine a bit, so mine's not going to quite look like yours. At the top, right now, there are three default programs. There's email, Google Apps, and your network drives. For the email, if you click on it, it's simply going to take you to the place that you sign in to your email. This will not automatically sign in for you. Some of these applications are going to. I'm going to go back. If I click on Google Apps, it's also going to take you to your Google Apps sign-in, of which you will have to sign in yourself. If you want to access your network drives, which is your S, your H, your W, you can click on that, and it's going to show you all of your drives. There we go. I had to re hit refresh on mine, but there's all of my drives, and I can uh, get to those if I'd like. Now this page does overwrite the others, so I'm just going to click a back arrow and it's going to make me sign in again. Hopefully that gets resolved. Another option from this main screen is to click on the search and just type for what you're looking for. So if you're looking for eSchool, begin to type eSchool and you'll just get those options and then pick the one that you want. Back on my home page, uh, you can see that I've been playing a bit, so I've got some recent things I've linked on, but your screen is probably going to be blank. Down here at the bottom, this is your home page. You have a My Tiles page, Account Manager, but Staff Links and Staff Links 2 are going to be where you want to spend most of your time. Here in Staff Links, you're going to see all of the links that you're used to seeing on our staff page, and the rest of them are located in Staff Links 2, and they're in alphabetical order. One of the neat things about this new uh, application that we're going to have is if I click here on Eduphoria, it grabs my login and I'm already logged into that program. It knows who I already am, so it's going to save me having to log in again. The other program that should do that for you is your eSchool Teacher Gradebook, if you are a teacher. And if you click on that, it's going to take you straight into your eSchool program. Now, I have an admin eSchool, so if you are an office staff or a tech facilitator or uh, someone at admin, you're going to use this eSchool. The teachers are going to use the brown one. Everyone else is going to use the green one. So I'm going to click on the green one. And now it takes me to something called Slingshot. What Slingshot is doing for me is it will allow this application to open up Internet Explorer because that's where I have to log into eSchool. So what it did is down here in the left corner, while I was talking, it downloaded something called the Web Network Slingshot. So I'm going to take a minute now and load that program and come back and show you what it looks like. And then I'll click on Run. It's going to ask me, do I want to receive instructions from the portal? Yes, I do. So my slingshot has now been loaded. I accepted anything that it asked me to. And now what it's done is it's opened eSchool for me in Internet Explorer, which for my purposes is where it needs to be loaded. And I'm logged in, so it's all ready to use. Any program that we have that needs to be run in a different browser is going to require that slingshot to be run. Another example, let's see, is eFinance. If I click on eFinance, I get this external protocol request, just say go ahead and launch the application. And do I want it to use the slingshot? Yes, I do. And on this time I'm going to say remember my choice. 
And then what it's going to do is it's going to open Internet Explorer and it's going to open eFinance and Internet Explorer because that's the, pr the uh, browser that we think it works the best in. Okay, so you may or, not run, may or may not run into Slingshot right away, but if you do, go ahead and download it and accept it on both your classroom computer, your cubicle computer, and your home computers. So coming back to this main page, let's talk about some of the fun stuff that you can do with this new application. I'm going to go back to my home page. And the first thing you'll notice is I've got my default list. I've got my recent list. These are things that I've just kind of been opening recently. And then on the third line, I have my favorites. Maybe there are certain applications I want to always stay there because I use them a lot. If you want to turn something into a favorite, just right click on it. And you have two options, open in a browser window or add to favorites. I'm going to say add to favorites. Now one thing we have learned that the order you add them to the favorites is the order they stay in. So if you decide you wanted Eduphoria after the second eSchool, you can come in here, right click and remove. And then when you re-add it, it will be in a different order. But other than that, there's not a really good way to fix that. The other thing that I want to show you is if you want to customize this a bit, come out here to the side and let's go to options. I'll come back to add a tile in a minute. And then I'm going to go to settings. Now I can change the wallpaper. Everybody loves to personalize, so I think I'll pick something pink. And I can even do a background color. If you have really good eyes, you may want to turn on small tiles. So I'll turn that on too. My default menu, yours is probably set to home. I set mine to staff links, but you can click where you want it to always open at. And finally, if you just want to add a bunch of things to favorites really quickly, you can go ahead and click them on here. So I'm going to add ASOP. And then when I'm done, I just hit the X to close it. And you'll see that my front page has changed. My icons got smaller. It changed my background. And I can make it look however I'd like. Another option you can do is right click, add a tile. Maybe for my class, I need to go to CNN a lot. So I'm going to go to CNN.com and I'm going to title this CNN, oops, CNN, and click Save. And what that does is under the page called My Tiles, I can customize anything that I want to hit a lot. So it's my own personal bookmark page. If there's anything you want to remove at any time, right click. You can say add to favorites or remove or do anything else you want with it. One more thing you will notice when you're using this is this portal works really well with uh, devices, tablets, Macs, PCs. But when you're using different platforms, the buttons you see on the staff link page may be different. The only ones you will see on that device or that computer are the ones that will work on that computer. So for example, here you see eSchool and eSchool Teacher. If I were on my iPad, for example, I may not see those two options, but I will see one that's called Mobile Access. So don't get scared if the icons you are looking for aren't there. If you're on a different computer, you may see different icons, and that's just the way that it is programmed to work. And that's about all there is to the new system. So enjoy, and hopefully this works really well for you.